Hello, it's me. It's Grunt Sword Monkey. How are you? How are you doing? And all of the usual stuff. It's time for another episode in the Letters of Sport series. And today is the turn of the letter F. You haven't guessed from the team logo on my flag, um, or from the title of the video because that's a bit of a giveaway as well. Today we are looking at Ferrari, and in particular the racing division Scuderia Ferrari. First up. Let's do the usual thing. Let's uh, zoom in on the flag. Zoom, 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 zoom. Here it is. Here is the logo for Ferrari. It is, of course, the famous prancing horse uh, with the initials underneath and um, SF there for Scuderia Ferrari. Uh, worth noting that Scuderia is an Italian word for a racing horse stable, hence the link. Um, it's not just about horsepower. It's about actual horses as well. Uh, on top of the shield, there is the green, white and red of the Italian flag. It's a very regal, very fanciful logo. Um, but also one you would recognise straight away, which is quite important, given that it doesn't actually have the word Ferrari on it. I think that's quite good. I think that's quite good branding. Um, before we get started on the most obvious sport that Scuderia Ferrari have been a part of, that's Formula One, of course. Um, let's just have a quick look at the championships they've won outside of that. Um, between the 1940s and the 1970s, Ferrari won the World Sports Car Championship 13 times. The Mille Miglia, or Mig Miglia, I'm not sure of the pronunciation of that one. Uh, that was Italian. Um, they've won that eight times. Uh, the Targa Florio, which is held on the Isle of Sicily, they've won that seven times. And they've also won the 24 Hours of Le Mans nine times. Um, after a poor showing in the 1973 Formula One World Championship, Enzo Ferrari, uh, the founder of the company, he declared they would no longer be developing sports cars in order to concentrate solely on Formula One and the team. So, to Ferrari's achievements in that uh, motorsport championship, for Formula One being the possibly most important motorsport championship, um, certainly the biggest one with the most money in it. Um, since their first forays into the sport in the 1950s, Ferrari have won the championship as a team an unprecedented 16 times. They've also won the Drivers' Championship 15 times, which is more than any other team, uh, including five in a row for Michael Schumacher, uh, who is arguably the greatest Formula One driver of all time. I said, arguably, do not at me. This is not up for discussion in this video. I understand people may well disagree, but I think it's Schumacher. So, yeah, Ferrari have also competed in the most Grand Prix ever, starting in 1029 of the 1032 they have entered. Um, three of them, they were part of the race, but uh, they didn't actually get to run a car in the race for whatever reason. Um, um, of those races... Uh, one of their cars has won the race an incredible 237 times. And of course, in nearly all of those races, the chassis of the car was a striking shade of red. Um, this choice of colour isn't just aesthetic choice. Uh, certainly now a large part of Ferrari's identity. Ferrari red is definitely a thing. Um, but when they started racing, the regulations at the time stipulated that the colour of the car had to be the same designated colour as the other cars made in the same country. Um, so for France, it was blue, Belgium were yellow, and it's also where British racing green originates from, um, though I don't know why we chose green to begin with. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Anyway, before I wander too far off on that tangent, it's time to wrap up the video. Certainly much more of Ferrari's history that we could delve into, as well as looking at their current Formula 1 drivers, Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz, but honestly, if we looked at everything, this video could easily be like an hour long. There's a lot of history for Ferrari. Um, and I've just tried to do this in under five minutes. Um, all I know is I enjoy watching the cars go around the track really fast. And I'm looking forward to Formula 1 starting again soon. Join me next time for another Letters of Sport video. Where we'll be looking at letter G. And I hope you enjoyed watching and listening. And I will see you soon. Okay, bye.